Welcome back to the boat cheat. Approaching Sulcombe then from the west to look at the Sulcombe bar pilotage. We've got Bolt Head just ahead of us and in front of that you can see the little Mewstone and behind that the Mewstone on the left there. After that we have Stairhole Bay with a boat at anchor and just off the shore by the headland behind that is the cavernous rocks just here. I think that's one of the reasons for the transit. This substantial red brick house on the hill is the best place to start when trying to find the lead-in marks. You want to be on the transit before you reach this white house on the hill here, which is almost in line with the bar. And there's our substantial house on the hill. The left hand end of it, just underneath it, is the top mark. And straight below it on Poundstone, which is on the water, there's the lower leading mark. Depending on the tide, you'll often see local boats cutting well over to the west um, end of the bar where there's a deeper section just under the White House there. In any wind from the south or southwest, you really don't want to be coming in here on an ebb tide. It gets very lumpy. There's a closer view of our transits and the house that gives you the indication of where they are. There are a couple of red marks off to the, uh, on the entrance to the river, including another mark which looks like a lead-in post, so it's very easy to get confused. That's why in daytime it's always worth starting with the big house, and that way you can't mix them up. Just by Bass Rock off to the western side there's a port hand mark that confirms you're well past the bar and you've got no problem with shallow water anymore. Off on the starboard side you'll start to see the three starboard hand marks which guard Wolf Rock and Blackstone. Uh, three of these once you're past the third of them you can ease over to starboard and pick up an anchorage in the Sulcombe anchorage off on the right there where you can see a couple of boats on the right of the shop. Problem with this is it gets busy. Uh, it's a bit rolly from the sea at times, but it's also quite rolly because a lot of the powerboats coming in and out seem to have speed limit exemption certificates. And here's the Wolf Rock, uh, starboard hand mark, and then after that you've got the two that guard Blackstone. Quite close to the town there are visitors' boys which are yellow and marked with a V and then a number. The Harbour Masters on Channel 14 VHF. Don't make the mistake of going over to port into the area of water in front of the town itself, it's very shallow. But if you need to um, find a mooring, because these are all full, carry straight on past the, the town. And just around the corner you have the bag where there is a visitor's pontoon, which you'll need to use your tender or a taxi to get ashore from. Uh, and also there's an anchorage just beyond that to start on the eastern side of the river. A beautiful place and well worth a visit.